you may have already heard the very exciting news that there's a newly discovered comet visiting our solar system. Discovered on the 12th of August by Japanese astronomer Hideo Nishimura, he noticed the extremely faint object in one of the photos he was taking using a 200mm telephoto lens on a Canon 6D camera. After reporting the potential discovery to the Central Bureau for Astronomical Telegrams, the Professional Sky Survey Telescope called PANSTARS confirmed his discovery in images taken back in January. Immediately after its designation of C2023P1 Nishimura, amateurs around the world began looking for the comet. Detectable at first only in long exposure photos, it's now just on the edge of becoming a naked eye object. It's expected to peak in the coming days at magnitude 3, which would put it comfortably in the bright comet category. Of course, this is just a prediction as comets are notoriously unpredictable. But it's fun to watch as it hurtles around the sun at almost a quarter million miles an hour. So where can you see it? In the middle of the first week of September, it's visible in the pre-dawn sky in Leo. Rising east-northeast, use bright Venus as a marker and scan to the left in parallel to the horizon using a pair of binoculars. Over the next few mornings it will rise later and later as it gets to its closest approach to Earth on the 12th of September. By this stage it will be lost in the twilight as it continues its plummet sunwards, reaching perihelion or its closest distance from the Sun on September 17th, a mere 20.4 million miles away. So while the comet does flip into the evening sky, there's a very slim chance you will see it in the strong twilight. You would need to wait until about 40 minutes after sunset on those dates and it will just be about 6 degrees high in the northwest. So even if it does survive its trip around the sun and even gains in magnitude, you still stand a very low chance of seeing it so low in the northwest after sunset. So all things considered, I believe the best opportunity we'll have to see this comet visually is in the pre-dawn sky from the 7th until about the 11th. Will it be worth the early alarm? Who knows? But potential naked eye comets with nice tails only come around about once a decade, like the last one Neowise. So now you know where and when to look, give it a go, and if you get any images, let us know in the comments below. Good luck and clear skies.